Oh, what's going on, everybody here, and welcome uh, to For the Crown. Today, we're going to check out For the Crown. Now, this looks like a little city builder, but it looks like a city builder with a little bit of, like, automation and, like, factory essence in it, because it looks like you have to, like, control where the people go and walk and stuff like that. Like, essentially, you have, like, belts, and you know what I mean? Like, not belts, but you kind of, like, have to direct people. So, it looks pretty cool. It looks pretty neat. Hopefully, you're all having a wonderful day. I'm having a fantastic day. We're going to hop into a campaign and uh, select a map. So, we have a uh, Wompom. We've got, oh, look at all these little, oh, look at that one. There's like a little island. Okay, I like that one. Hold on. I really like that one so far. Oh, this one has like a little Arctic area though. Okay, we're going to try this one uh, because, well, you know what? Hold on. I don't know what the different color lands mean. You know what? Let's just do this one. Let's go with this one. All right. <laughs> so green king, red king. Ooh, I can pick my. So king. before we go going any further, we gotta give a huge shout out to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. Everyone wants to cut back on errands this time of year, so skip the grocery store and get some tasty recipes delivered with HelloFresh. You just pick your meals, you decide on delivery date, and sit back. All the ingredients will arrive pre-portioned and no running around required. And with easy to follow instructions. You're sure to have yourself a delicious meal. And let's face it, your time can be limited, especially around the holidays. That's where HelloFresh's 15 minute meals come in. These quick fixes help you get a wholesome meal on the table in less than it takes to order takeout. So scan my QR code on the screen or go to the link down below and receive one free breakfast item per box while the subscription is active. Now, in case you missed it, HelloFresh is more than just delicious dinners. In fact, HelloFresh takes the hassle out of every mealtime occasion with easy breakfasts, quick lunches, and snacks delivered straight to your door. Just like always, ingredients arrive fresh and pre-portioned so you can get cooking. So again, thanks to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. Again, go to the link down below, get one free breakfast item per box while the subscription is active or simply scan the QR code on screen. Thanks again, HelloFresh. Let's get back to the video. Okay, so here's our little king. So what we need to do, I think we need to go ahead and start placing some stuff here. So here's our little area. Now, I don't know what the deal is with like all the things here. So um, let's go ahead and let's start with, I guess let's start over here in this green area, maybe. And we're going to go ahead and place some houses. Well, you know what? Should we, maybe we should start next to like the kingdom. That might actually be a better idea, huh? Um, okay, let's put a house there. And then let's also place, hold on, once we get, I think once we get a person. Do we unlock stuff? Yes, okay. So then let's also go ahead and let's get ourselves a field. And we're gonna place that going, uh, let's see, do we want it to, I can't really place it going that way. Let's, have, let's place it going this way. So you hold um, you hold the right click in order to bring up the things and then you like arrow through with the, the different items that you want now uh, This place this is our field right here, right? It can only hold uh, two people at it So if we send any more than two people there, then they're gonna have not a good time. Um, oh shoot. Oh, no, I missed you Okay, I need to place an arrow right there. So that way when he runs here So basically these people <laughs> they literally just run straight they run straight here This arrow tells them to go this way. They're gonna hit this arrow. He's gonna turn this way and voila Okay, so can we get another house into this one field or is that probably a bad idea? Does this ever hit two right now? It's not, it doesn't look like it's ever hitting two. So let's get maybe, maybe one, one more house and we'll have two people maybe going in here and then going here and then going here. Cause I think that's how we make our money. Yeah, see, that's how we're making money right now. All right, so that works now. Here's the next interesting thing though, is unless I want these guys doing something else, I can't place anything in this path, but I believe there's this guy, which is a windmill. So we need three loads of wheat and two regular people. So like if I place that here, we're trying to figure this out. We're gonna figure this out. Okay, so if I place that here, um, three loads of wheat and two regular people. So if I place that, oh, I don't have enough for that. It's 230, holy moly. Okay, so I'm trying to think how I could do this. So if I place a field there, I could place a house here like that, and then I can place an arrow here like that. That would give us one person. I might only be able to get one person. Actually, if I moved it down by one, I could have put two. Oh, darn it. I should have done that. You know what? Live and learn, right? Live and learn. Okay, so another house going that way with another field going that way with another arrow going this way. And then another house going this way. That should be getting us some peoples there. Are we are we getting the peoples? We're getting the peoples. Look at us. Look at us go. Okay, we're getting money from all these. So now, now that I have all those, this guy I think just only has one field. Yeah, look at them all go. Oh my gosh, this is kind of neat. So now that we have those, um, we want to get... 
Is there like a, oh, you know what? This is probably, oh, this is probably a filter. Okay. So we, we might need to save up a little bit right now in order to get some other things. Now, what's going on with this stuff? Why is the ground different colors? There's also like different trees and stuff. So kind of curious as to what those are. Oh, this is super neat. Okay, so our goal right now is to try to get um to 200 and what is it, 30 in order to get this mill. Oh, there's lumberjacks. And then there's a quarries. Oh, there's all kinds of fun stuff. Let's let's focus on one thing at a time here. I don't want to overdo I don't want to overdo it. Hey, okay, so we have enough money. Let's go ahead and get this thing. And let's put it um maybe we'll put it right here. Well, let's put it right. Well, I'm trying to make I want to make sure that I have room for stuff. Let's put it right here. We'll put it right there and we'll see what happens here. Okay, so hold on, let me go ahead and switch back to this. So I need two regular people now. Oh, you know what? These guys are gonna start falling over. Oh no. Okay, so I need two regular people now. So basically, let's go ahead and get uh, one. Oh, I don't have no money. Oh shoot. I messed up everything. Is this free? Okay, we're gonna, have to, we're gonna have to swap this out for a second because I need to make money. I have no money. And they kept they kept like falling over and dying. All right, so once we have money, we can throw two more houses in here and then send those here as well. And then that should hopefully be enough. Maybe, I don't know, let's see. Um, okay, so a house is 20. And then hold on, arrows are free, it looks like. So if I place another arrow there and there, and then I go to a house and I place a house there and there. Um, that's going to send two regular people out. Now, I don't think regular people do anything for the tower. Like, do they do anything? Oh, they give us regular money. That's kind of cool. All right. So now I can use this guy and get rid of this arrow. Actually, I wonder if I can just change it. It's right there. Yeah. All right. So let's see what happens here. So now we're sending the two regular people. So it's processing. So one, two, three, processing. Looks like we're okay. And then that's giving us, oh my gosh, let's give us 23 tokens, 23 coins, that's insane. All right, so one of our guys is gonna fall short there. Two of them fell short, which is unfortunate. So I actually need another field going. It looks like I don't have enough field stuff keeping up. So let's do that. Let's get ourselves another field and we're gonna place it this way. And then we're going to go ahead and place a house here. And then let's see. I want to try getting this going. I want to see how many houses, how many fields I need in order to get one of these mills working at like, uh, you know, the ap appropriate. Well, actually, I mean, it should be simple because these give us one person per. Oh, these fields don't do anything. Why does this one not do anything? It should be going this way. Huh. Okay, so these fields don't do anything until they have a second person. There has to be two people in there in order for them to produce. However, you can only have two people in there in order to produce. Okay, all right, so this is what we're gonna need. We're gonna need another house here. So we'll go ahead and put another house there. That'll give us, so basically you need two houses per, per field. And then how's this looking? See, that looks pretty good. And then one, two, one, two, three. Uh oh, extra. No. Actually, seems like it's doing pretty good. Oh, we lost one wheat field though. Person. Hmm. Oh, we got new places. We got a a pretzel place. As well, that's kind of cool. I don't know what. See, I don't know what these are. What is this? We're gonna place it down there and see what happens. <gasps> oh, it's a jump thing. Okay, all right. Well, I don't need that. <laughs> it's so they go over it. That's interesting. Well, you know what? Let's see what this thing is then. Okay. So if I place that there, um, signpost green. Am I able to do anything with this? Is there a different thing for this one? Up, down, rotate. I don't see anything. Maybe it's like the people. So like we have greenhouses right now. Maybe this is telling, hey, green people go here. Red people. Oh, maybe there's different. Wait a second. Hold on. If I build a house. 
over here. Does that make it a red hut? Wait, no, oh, green hut. Is there a way to get a red hut? I wonder if there's different colored houses. Maybe there's not yet. Maybe we don't have other houses yet. Okay, we're gonna have to, we'll have to figure that out. I don't know, that's kind of weird. Um, all right. So let's go ahead and let's see what we got with a forest or lumberjack. I guess we'll go ahead and start placing, let's place lumberjacks over here and we'll see what happens here. And then we'll have a, um, we'll do this. We'll have a main road just going out right here. Cause these don't cost anything. And I put them all like that. So that way if we put whatever, you know, like whatever stuff goes around. Okay. So let's see here. Um, a lumberjack has two people. So basically we can do the same thing. So we could do, um, let's see if we did a lumberjack there. Sent that that way, grabbed a house, did a house here and here. And then we could do another lumber mill here, another house there and there, and then another arrow right there. Okay. So that gives us two people, that gives us two lumber mills going. Now, does that deliver money to us as well? It does. It does, but these guys look like they're sweating. It looks like it almost might be too far. And here's our, oh, here's our cost and balances and stuff like that that we're making and not, or not making. <laughs> oh man. Okay, so now that we have that going. We have, um, we have this lumber mill shop here. So we need four regular people and two, two regular people and four uh, sawmill people. Okay, so this is basically the same thing as this guy right here. So I'm thinking that what we need to do is we need to figure out like the, the, like the best way to do this in order of getting things okay so if i wanted four people with logs and it takes let's see that's gonna output one two so that has two people in it getting logs so that's gonna send out one person with a log one person with a log so it's reducing the output of these so it's sending two people out, but those two people turn into one log holder. Okay, so we're gonna try something here. So if I need four of these, so basically I need four of these camps and two regular people. Okay, let's see if we can figure this out here. So if I place this, let's place that there and I grab these. Okay, so I want, I need four logging camps to go in here and then two regular people to go in here. So, and I need, that means I need all the houses to be maxed out as well. So let's go ahead and let's do one, two three and then so house there house there house there house there there and there and then those are all gonna go this way into there so what i need to do i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to attach them so we're gonna have to have another one possibly right here and then we're gonna have to have arrows okay so this oh shoot I can't have arrows going in because this arrow is going to go out this way. So they're going to run this way. Darn it. That one, that was wrong. That was a bad one place. Oh, you know what? Well, I'm a dummy. Why don't I just do something like I did here? Oh my goodness. All right. So let's see. We can place another one there and I can place a house here, 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 here. I can place a house there and there. We can place a house there and there. And then I can place um, regular houses like right in here and then send them over here. Okay. That'll work. That, that should work. All right. So let's go ahead and let's see if we can make this happen here. Um, now we're going to lose some people in the beginning. So there's these. And then what I need to do is I need to do one, two, and I need to do some arrows. So one, two, nope, this way. Nope, that way. And then this one, I'm just going to put this one here just so we know. Okay. So now that should be. We should be getting exactly four people for every two people. Is that right? Is that how that works? That's look, that looks like that's how that works. There's our two. There's our four. Yep. Okay. So these two people are essentially consumed to make a one person holding logs. I was assuming that every person that went through here would go through here, grab a log, and then leave, but that's not how that works. Hey, look at that. Look at that. How much are these logs worth? 29? There's no way. Oh yeah, 29. Okay, I was gonna say, there's no way there's worth 29. These guys are getting tired though. They're a little far away. Now, I wonder, I bet you there's a better way to do this too, to make this a little bit smaller. 
and we need to increase our income as well. So, and that I have a feeling has to do with, oh, look at these. I don't know what those are. Now, I'm sure that has to do with use, utilizing these things. So, this guy produces, a, ma a mill produces a baker, I believe. So, we need two bakers for two people. And then the lumber mill, we already have that. Oh my gosh. This needs four regular people. Four, one stone person, one plank person, and one, I'm gonna get, is that a pretzel? And then that makes a green market? Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Okay, so let's go with, we can't do anything there, but we could do something with the pretzel. Uh, the pretzel's 600. Oh, I have just 600 now. Okay, so what we need is we would need two of these bakers and we would need two regular people. So that's actually not that bad. Um, let's see, we got forestry stuff down there. Let's go in here, let's go down into here. Let's go down in this area maybe. Well, it's kind of far away though, isn't it? All right, so what actually, we kind of need to work backwards. We need to get two mills going. And in order to get two mills going, we need three farms and two houses. Now we already have a mill here, so it would actually probably be ideal to use this one. Yeah, cause see this one's using, I almost want to rebuild all of these. <laughs> Like, I'm not going to lie, because, like, these two are working. This one right here is not doing anything. Like, that's not helping us whatsoever. That one's good. That one's good. Uh, but these two right here, I don't need these two. I don't actually. Yeah, let's let's delete those, because I bet you that's actually costing us money as upkeep, because I just don't need those, because we have one, two, three farms and two regular people. That's exactly what I need for this. So let's try to do the same thing over here, and we'll try to have these two come together and then make the uh, a pretzel. <laughs> Okay, so let's go and put our houses. Oh, you know what? Actually, we're going to need arrows first. Let's run arrows here, and then let's go ahead and get houses. So we need one there, one there. There, there. That one, and then that one. Okay, so there's our three. There's our three wheat farms. And then let's see. That'll be um, one regular person, two regular people. And then from there, we need another mill. So we could actually throw, actually, let's throw the mill there. Oh, shoot. Darn it. That's not what I needed to do. I needed to rotate it. It needs to go this way. Oh, that was an expensive error. And then that can go into there. That'll send them this way. And then for now, we'll send them that way. Okay. So that gets us our two bakers. And then we need to send those two bakers off to a pretzel land. <laughs> now it's 600, so we're gonna wait a little bit, but uh, two, pre two breakers and two regular people. Actually, I could place that right here. And then we just need to place um, two houses. We could place a house, I don't know, here and here. Send them out this way, boom, hit that. Heck yeah. All right, 600, oh, almost 600, come on. And we're good. All right, let's see how this goes, uh-oh. Did I just break my castle? Oh, is the castle supposed to build out? <gasps> oh, I didn't realize that. Oh, maybe I should be building on these islands then. I didn't even think about getting too close to the castle. I didn't realize the castle upgraded. Oh, look at that. We're making 99 and use, utilizing 20 right now. Is that right? No, okay, I was gonna say, I was like, there's no way we're utilizing 20. Okay, so we're losing 50, but gaining 99. That's pretty good. So it almost seems like I need to move all this stuff out so that way this castle can get built up. Wait, can you build on top of... <gasps> Wait, is that what this stuff is? Can I build on top of... Hold on, if I throw this... No, that goes... Okay, never mind. I'm a dummy. <laughs> never mind. Place that there. Oh, shoot. Oh, darn it. Um, okay. That was... Okay, now I, now I know. Now you know. That's gonna throw everything off here now until that one gets going. <laughs> okay, so now I understand. Okay, so now, now I understand how this works a little bit. So that's our pretzel deal. Goal is level 13, okay. So I think what we should do is basically this whole thing right here, we should move this over here and get as many of these pretzel deals going as possible. Now the pretzel people are those, I don't, yeah. Okay, those are the people that are the green market, okay. So let's see what we can do over here. Let's see if we can get some more, more pretzel making happening. Because what we need essentially is just two mills for every pretzel deal. Okay, I think I came up with the smallest thing. To, I think I think I might have came up with the smallest way to do this. So for one mill, we need three of these guys. So basically, what I did, I can't. You can't really see because this mill's in the way. But there's um, 
There's a field there and a field there and a field there. So basically, we go field, we put a house there, house there, house there, one there, that way, this way, this way, and that way. That gives us three fields, two regular houses. Uh-oh. Oh, I might need a bomb on that. <gasps> I can't place it down there. <laughs> Darn it. That ruined every that tree. That tree ruined everything. That tree ruined everything. I can't do anything with that tree, can I? I mean, oh man. That ruined everything. That was gonna work perfectly. Because if I could place a house there, that gives me this house and that house would be regular people. And then one, two, three fields would be maxed out. That right there would have been perfect. Oh, stupid tree. And I can't even get into there. So I'm going to have to delete something. I can't believe the bombs won't get rid of that. What about this? Nothing. Nothing will get rid of those. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to go ahead and throw a bomb on this. And I'm gonna have to throw a regular house here. I'm gonna have to throw an arrow here, and I'm gonna have to throw a mill here. And then that gives us, okay, so that gives us a mill right there. Man, oh, that is such a bummer. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna see if I can squeeze another mill in right here so we can throw another pretzel thing in right here. Now, are we getting too far away for this, for these guys? So they're starting to sweat, which I don't know what that means exactly. I think when they start sweating, they start losing money. Because like 23, well, I don't really know. We'll see. Um, okay, I think I may, might be able to get this to work here. If I put this here, place that there. That gives us one, two, three fields. And then ideally what I want to do is I want to put a mill here if I can. Or I mean, I guess I could put one here. How do I get this to work? If I place this here, I guess I gotta have one house there, one house there, and then have these guys shoot over this way. Let's see if this works. So if I do that there, that there, that one there, grab this, have them go into there, and then grab a another arrow. Throw it there for now. I should be able to throw a pay, um a pretzel thing in right here along with how many people do we need for the pretzel deal two okay i think we can make that happen so one there and then two houses one house there one house there and then one arrow here is that enough that should work and then that gives us our pretzel person which is another pretzel person which is always good see like yeah that's a i feel like that's a lot more we we condensed a lot more right there okay so this guy should still be worth 60 or if he's sweating is it worth less no oh, it's still worth the most it's still worth the same okay cool oh awesome oh my gosh this is so cool this is so neat it's like a factory and a silly build city building game all in one now our goal is to hit level 13 um which i mean i guess we could probably just sit and wait i, I feel like it's money based okay so the next thing i mean obviously the, the next highest thing is this market which we need one bread person, one plank person. I guess we should go for that. So let's see, we've already got the bread. We've got one bread person being delivered here. So let's let's go with the plank since, since we know we know what we're doing there. So um, we need, what is it, one plank person? So that's, that's not bad, actually. Um, we could probably squeeze that in. I guess we need to figure out where we're going to try to put the market, though. I guess the market may be... Anywhere over here, I guess. Let's see. Let's try to do the plank person like right here somewhere. So we're going to need a forest. Let's see. How many forests do we need for the planks? Four forests, two house for one plank. Okay. So we'll go ahead and do one, two. That'll do house, 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 house. And then we'll do one, two. There'll be houses there. And then what we'll do is we'll send those off. Let me see here. If we get houses in here. These guys are going to be coming out this way. I could place those houses like this. Yeah, that'll work. We'll place houses like this and then we'll send them. That. Okay, I'm trying to get my arrows figured out. That way we can. That way they don't just immediately start going somewhere. 
So we need arrows like this. And then we can start houses. So there, there, there. There's all of those. And then two regular houses. And then we just need our plank, which can go here for now. And then that will get us our plank. Okay. So now the next thing for the market is the stone, which we have not even done anything with stone yet. So I have no idea how this is going to work. Hopefully it's similar. Um, oh my gosh. This requires four people. Um, okay. Let's play with this over here then. Four people, huh? All right. So I'll place that there. And then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and grab some arrows. Do those two there. We'll do something like that. And then grab one, two, three, four. Now, I want to see what they come out with. Are they? Do they come out with immediately what we need, or are they? Do we have? Do we have like? Are once we get this, are we gonna get a new building? Hey, we got a new building. Okay, so they're carrying stone. So that's what I figured. Figured there'd be another processing deal. So we need three and three. Holy moly! Okay, so there's one. So I need. I need. I need two more of these exactly. And you know what? Actually, it's pretty easy. These guys, these ones are actually really easy. I don't know. I don't know why. Maybe I'm just thinking that these ones are easier. But basically, I just throw houses like this. That's four houses for one mine. Those are all going to go into there. So there's our three mines right there. And then we need, what is it? Three regular people and then three of those. Okay, so I need to bring all three of these together along with three regular people. That's not too bad. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and do. Let's see. Those are going right there. Those are going right there. Those are going right there. We'll go ahead and do this. And then we'll do. Let's grab some houses. So I need three regular people. So we'll go ahead and do. Uh, one, two, three. Grab some arrows. Oh, shoot. It's not going to work like that. Hold on. Because that's going to block this path right there. Oh, you know what? We can just set it right next to it. Like that. And then arrow that way, arrow that way. All right, that should be our people. And then there's our, okay, so there's our stone, our plank, our bread. And then what else did we need? Four regular people, okay. And this is gonna be our first market. So let's just put the, should we just put the market right here? And then put four regular houses right here and just kind of see how it goes. Let's do that. So let's do, um, let's just do one, two, three, four. And let's grab a market and we'll throw a market right here. Oh, I don't have 1700. Okay, there we go. There we go. Boom. All right, let's see how this goes. Um, oh, shoot. I don't have my arrows set up. I was like, what's going on here? Oh, it's terrible. We're losing our expensive stuff too. We should be good now. Oh, we're good. We're good. We got the market coming in. And what is the market worth? 57 a pop. And guess what? They're not sweating or they don't have the little sweat thing because they're not going very far because they're getting made here instead. Oh, man. Look at us go. So this whole island is dedicated basically to one market right now. So now do we have anything else? Oh, my gosh. We have red houses. <laughs> Oh, that's exciting stuff. So that gives us a new ability to uh, move people around because we have these banners. Um, I'm sure I have to build a red house first, but that's going to give us a red worker. Oh, this is super cool. Oh my gosh, this is so much fun. So now what I need to do, basically what we need to do is we need to figure out... Um, we need to get this whole island right here. We need to get it as small as possible. Now, does red... I wonder if red acts any differently. Here, let's go ahead and just throw a red house here. I want to see what this does. No, red house... It's it's the same. Okay, it just gives us another color of... Oh. No. No, I was, I was wrong. Hunting. A hop field. Beehive. And a red market. Oh my gosh. Okay, I was so I was wrong. Uh reds give us something completely different indeed. Oh, the red person can't even go through here right now. Because they, that's a green market. They couldn't even go into there. Okay. Interesting. 
Wait, are these all the different color? Are these the different color kings? Like the people that we're gonna get? Are we gonna get green and then red and then like purple and then like a gray? Is that what's gonna happen? So I should have put the red people in the red area and the green people in the green area? <laughs> no, we gotta have more contrast than that. Okay, so the red, oh my gosh. Okay, this is exciting. So now we have a whole new tier of people to play with here. So yeah, hunting a hop field behind, oh, hops. That means they're gonna be making some brewskis. Yep, kegs. And then we've got um, beehives. We're gonna have probably some kind of honey or something. And then we've got, what is this, hunting? Looks like some kind of textile or something like that. Oh, this is super cool. I'm actually really, this is actually a quite a neat game. Now this game was only on 10 bucks on Steam. So um, I think it was 9.99. I don't even think it's on sale. I think that's like normal price. So if you guys wanna check it out, I'll have a link down below. But that is gonna end this episode. Thank you so much for coming out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did like subscribe, all the fun things. And a huge shout out again to uh, HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. So again, link down below, check it out. Hit the button, just see what it's about. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everybody.